Ready? Go. Hello everyone. Welcome to another video from Speed Engineering based in Germany. Today we have a very special topic. Uh, a topic which makes us, uh, I don't know if you can say famous, but kind of. Well, um, our company is well known for brake cooling kits, which I personally don't understand because this is not our main business. We are an engineering office, we're doing lots of things. And if you ask random people, um, well, how or, or what defines speed engineering? Lots of people say brake cooling kits. Well, so in this case, let's talk about this topic. Here we have an M2 competition and this is a spontaneous video, so it will be quite short, I guess. Um, and the problem is that if you are using this car on the track, like with almost every car, because most of the, especially the new cars are uh, quite heavy and they have lots of power, means that um, you need to cool down the brakes because they are overheating, especially on the racetrack. So BMW is aware of this. And what do they do? They have an intake here uh, next to the intercooler. The intake goes here and releases the air right here. So um, the issue of this is, I mean, the idea is okay, um, but the issue is that you are um, redirecting the air in front of the tire if you are running wide tires. And so this is not enough. And what we have done is we replaced the dust shields. I don't know, ah, here they are. This is the OEM dust shield, which is keeping most of the heat still um, in the housing of the wheel. We replace them by our dust shield, which has an outtake with this angle and uh, it redirects the air directly to the center of the disc. And now you have to understand how does a brake disc actually work. It works like this, like, like a turbine. So if you start the rotation, the cold air comes or gets, gets sucked in in the middle and the outtake is here. So it releases the hot air here, inside the rim. And uh, now, because lots of people, um, if, I mean, if you are doing some, some DIY uh, solutions or, or building your own brake cooling kit, which is, which is cool, I like it, if people are doing, doing stuff by themselves, um, don't do the mistake and um, redirect the air or, or place the outtake of the air on this surface. Um, try to redirect it to the center to use the effect of the turbine. So now we have a second problem. The second problem is that hot air is, um, is going up. Means that if you are starting to brake, you produce hot air. And the more you brake, the more hot air you have. Sounds logic. The problem is now that it goes up. Means that the wheel housing is full of hot air. The cold air doesn't have any space to get up. It means that the hot air is pushing from above and the cold air is going underneath the car and it's getting hotter and hotter. So we redirected the air from the OEM outtake, which you can see here, with our plug and play system. Now you put those shovels or those ducts here, redirect the air, and with a very short hose, you push all the air in the center of the disc. And there you have an active cooling for the brakes. Now, that's the first thing. And I also have to mention, which is very, very important, uh, a brake cooling kit is only and always an additional product. It is not the solution for everything. The, the, the main part you have to change is the brake pads. The brake pad in combination with the brake cooling kit, this is what makes the brake effective and what's, what makes it um, stable on, or durable, I don't know, one of the words is, is correct, uh, for the racetrack. And in this case, we highly recommend uh, endless brake pads, ME22 or N39S. N39S has a longer temperature range, um, but it's not as durable as the ME22. And um, yeah, that's for the front axle. Uh, ah, yeah, one, one additional point. Just a second, I will get uh, a sample. These are brake ducts, brake ducts made of um, a hybrid version of, 
um, what was the name? Kefla Carbon. Yeah, Kefla Carbon. It's a hybrid version. Uh, first things first, we are producing some of the kits in plastic. Um, it depends on the environment. Because, especially in Germany, we have lots of salt. Um, the guys are uh, driving their cars during the winter, during the summer. Um, we have water and everything else. And this is in the housing of the wheel, means that the environment is not that good. We tested those a long time with uh, plastic and it is not that perfect, especially long term, in long terms. Yeah, in long terms. This is why we switched to carbon fiber, but this is not only carbon fiber, this is Kefla carbon. Um, the reason for this is that Kefler is not, doesn't have that sharp edges if something happens. Now, if something is breaking, the edges are not that sharp because of the Kefler compound. This is why we are selling them only in, in uh, Kefler carbon and not in plastic anymore. And let's come to the second point. The second point is a point which is very, very important, especially when you drive on the racetrack. Porsche knows it very well and BMW is also using it. And um, this is the cooling for the rear. Um, this very simple system is for the BMW, BMW um, M2, M3, M4 and also for the G-series and also for BMW M1 and all that stuff. Um, this is very simple. You just place it on the wishbone. Uh, with a cable tie here and here, like you put it here and that's it. Just with two cable ties and if you want, just to be sure, with a third one here. Now, why is this so important? This is especially a BMW issue um, because we have measured at our, we had a, a M4 GT4 and a M3 also for, um, um, yeah, it was a, a complete race build. And we were changing the brake pads on the rear and we saw that the inside brake pad was always, yeah, um, I would say almost, almost completely done and the outside was okay. So we measured the temperatures of the brake disc and it was a difference of more than 200 degrees from the inside to the outside. Means that the, that the air circulation on the inside, especially of those BMWs, is horrible and this is why we redirect the air to the inside of the disc as Porsche is doing it. Um, yeah, that's it so far. So if you are interested in such a brake cooling kit or if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And as mentioned, we are always um, friends of DIY solutions. So also if you, don't, if you don't want to buy this in our shop, if you have any kind of questions technical wise, um, also feel free to contact us. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.